Greetings, I'm gonna get you started on creating this motor mount part. Uh, here's a picture of the part that you're gonna be creating. Um, just so it's clear what these holes are. Uh, the motor itself will sit approximately right there. These two holes are for the 440 mounting screws. This little hole is for the little plastic nubbin that's attached to the motor. And then this is where the output shaft will stick through. These two holes are for uh, the steel right angle brackets that are going to attach it to the rest of your board. Um, okay, so uh, I hope you can see this is a pretty simple part. You're just going to have the difference of a cube with a couple cylinders for your holes. Um, the only important thing, obviously, is that everything be the right size and the right place. So let me get you started in the right way here. Uh, I'm going to create a new document. And even though the picture is still there, that thing is actually gone now. So let's just verify that I have a new document going. Okay, so there's a cube. This 551, those are in millimeters. Okay, so if you know what size your thing is supposed to be, you could just go ahead and start making it. This is a really bad way to do it, though. It's not, it's not how a professional would do it, and you're going to do it the way the professionals would. Uh, the reason why is because if anything about your design needs to change, or if anybody else needs to read your design, they're not going to have any idea what those numbers mean. So the right thing to do is to create variables for uh, that are named after what those numbers describe about your object. So uh, we're going to have amount width, which is going to be some number of millimeters. We'll have amount height. Uh, I'm going to call it length, actually, which is some number of millimeters, and a material thickness. And then you can define your cube using those variables instead of numbers. And now everybody can see what's happening. And also, if you need to change like your material thickness, for example, um, it's really easy because you just change it where the variable is defined there at the top. OK, so how large should we make this thing? Um, I may or may not have told you that we had chosen an inch and a half by an inch and a half. But remember, all these things are in millimeters. Uh, so you could look up a conversion factor. Google will do unit conversions for you if you want. So 1.5 inches in millimeters. And here it says 38.1 millimeters. So look at how nice this is. 38.1, 38.1. Uh, I know our material thickness. Uh, we could make it, let's say, a quarter inch, which is 6.35 millimeters. And now we'll re-render it, and there's our part. Okay, um, so I think that's actually probably as far as I'm going to take you, because you already know how to create modules. You already know how to make cylinders and translate them. You already know how to make the differences between things. As much as you possibly can, uh, you should create variables. If Danny or I, or I come by and see that you haven't created variables everywhere you can, we may not give you your checkoff. So make us proud. Um, if you're not sure what sizes the holes should be, um, so you have, like, for example, um, mounting screw hole radius, something like that, uh, you can ask us and we can tell you what radius the holes should be. I think that's as far as I'm going to take you, but you can go back to the beginning of the video to see what the part is supposed to look like when you're done. Good luck.